Hey there, I'm DIY expert Eddie O'Donnell from Snow Joe. And today, I'm gonna give you my top five chainsaw tips when it comes to using your battery-powered Sun Joe chainsaw. Tip number one, always wear your personal protective equipment. It's always important to be safe when you're working with any tool. Chainsaws definitely included. So, chainsaw chaps to protect the legs, gloves in my pouch right here, and of course, if I'm working overhead, definitely wanna be wearing some sort of headgear for the ear protection. But one thing we should never forget, are the most important safety glasses. Oftentimes, you might be cutting pieces of wood or pieces of a tree trunk like here that have fallen on the ground. Now, the last thing you wanna do is let your chain come into contact with the dirt because that's gonna immediately dull that chain up and make it really hard to cut with. So the trick is, cut about halfway through the top, roll the log, and we'll cut about another halfway on the other side. There we go. Easily cut up and the chain never touched the dirt. When it comes to cutting any logs that are elevated like this, if we come straight down to the middle, we're gonna pinch the bar in between here to make it very hard to cut. The trick here is to cut halfway underneath, move over an inch to the side, and then cut downwards to give it that room so the blade never binds. Nice easy split, never under tension. As you're making cuts, the chain is gonna pull your saw towards the log. Now that's what these metal spikes right in here are for. These metal bucking spikes right here allow you to use that action to lever the saw down, just like this. Right up here, we have the safety brake on the chainsaw, or also known as a chain brake. What this is gonna do, it's gonna stop this chain from spinning if it ever snaps forward. So for example, if we make a cut, and the saw kicks back for whatever reason, that chain brake activates so it won't hurt us. A good practice is to always push the chain brake off to make sure that the saw is never engaged anytime you put the saw down when you're not working. And when you're ready to make a cut, grab it, pull it back, and you're ready to cut. <laughs> 